Hey everybody, it's Kevin Meredith here, Fourth Sector Innovations. Just wanted to talk briefly about how the robots really have done in the real world. You know, this is Labor Day uh, that we're celebrating and, and in honor of that, we're giving the robots uh, some time off. They have done an amazing job over the last month. Uh, we've learned a lot from them and have really enjoyed using them. There is, you know, maybe a fear, a tendency to think that the robots in, in general, the robots are going to produce some outcomes that, that we as humans will not necessarily be in control of. Yeah, I just like kind of can't believe it. It's, it's driving itself. I think in our experience, you know, through this series, we've seen that there can be a counter uh, conversation that looks at this in a different way that helps people see how robots are not necessarily just here to take their jobs or drive their cars and make them feel less safe the robots really can be an extension of people and people can do more with robots sometimes um, that I think is a really interesting concept that will take a lot more study and understanding. It'll take a lot more products like Cheetah, um, the thoughtful engineering and design that went into the product to make it user friendly, to make it do the job that it's supposed to do, which is to carry your stuff and um, follow a human. Like that's really what this robot does, and it does it pretty darn well. Uh, especially considering that there's no additional application required to utilize the device. There's no additional hardware required to pair with the device. That interaction becomes uh, just an extension of, of the human experience. It's not the perfect solution in all situations that like we've seen, but it does show that there is a future in which robots and humans uh, working together, um, living together, operating together, can um, make a, a really positive impact um, together. So that's really a, a nice sign for the future of what could be um, coming. Now there's a whole bunch of other robots that we don't explicitly cover in this series that are doing awesome work also. So we want to give a good shout out to all those robots that are doing um, pretty amazing work out there. And then for the decision makers and the policy makers that are um, trying to determine uh, if and how to deploy additional robots, I just hope that we can have an ongoing dialogue around uh, that, that really honors humanity that honors people as people that has deeply empathic uh, decisions about how work gets done in society um, and not work just for the sake of doing work but work uh, that really is creating meaningful value and you know if we if we're able to accomplish that I think we'll see a much brighter, a much more uh, cohesive, a much less combative future for uh, this intersection of, of technology and humanity, robotics and humanity. And that can unlock this great potential that, that we as humans really can live up to. Hopefully that this is uh, a good time for you as, as human watchers also to enjoy a little bit of a break and, and enjoy uh, the hard work and labor that, that you're doing. And uh, thank you so much for continuing to watch and we'll be wrapping up this series in the next few episodes. Thanks again for all your time and making it happen.